Students in the Honors Program get uh, several benefits. First of all, they get access to Honors courses. Uh, those are limited uh, just to Honors students. Uh, they get to do all of the kind of events that the Honors Program organizes. Uh, they receive a scholarship also, $500 per semester. And then finally, in their senior year, they get the opportunity to write an Honors Thesis, uh, which is a year-long research project that is conducted under the guidance of a faculty member in the student's major. Honors courses are different from regular courses in a lot of ways. First, they're smaller, so you get more intense interaction between students and faculty. Uh, they're often interdisciplinary and are uh, co-taught by instructors from different departments. The forensics art course was taught by an uh, art resort from Yale and a forensic science professor here on campus. It's really interesting to see how the teachers come together on certain topics and also to see where they differ and where their different disciplines teach them maybe different perspectives. You do have that personal connection with your classmates and your teachers and it makes it really easy to learn. You can ask whatever questions you want. It's a very comfortable and personal atmosphere. As part of the Honors Program, students have the opportunity to go on uh, all kinds of trips uh, with us uh, and there, there are different types. I and mean, We do some trips that are purely fun. For example, we got a tour of the uh, Pez factory here in Orange, Connecticut, right? the factory that makes all the little Pez candies for the entire United States. And so that was just an opportunity to see a local Connecticut business and how it operates and also eat a lot of candy. Uh, but we've also done educational trips. We've gone to the Museum of Tolerance in New York City. Uh, we also do cultural excursions. We've taken students to Shakespeare in the Park. And of course, we also do community service. So this semester, we've kind of partnered with the Connecticut Food Bank and students have been going down there to help out. The Honors Newsletter comes out um, every semester and it's filled with a bunch of student articles. Uh, when I went to visit the Yale British Art Museum, I actually wrote a letter for this newspaper about our trip and our experience and how it was a lot different than I had expected. Uh, the Honor Student Council is a uh, student-run uh, organization. Uh, it has its own officers, it has its own budget, and these students organize all kinds of events and trips over the course of the semester. The Honors LLC is housed in, in Burgamy Hall, uh, and students there would have the opportunity to live with other Honor students. And what's unique about this one is that most LLCs are major specific. So you would be living with students just in a particular major. But the Honors LLC includes students from all different kinds of majors. And I think that's what makes it special. I think having those kinds of conversations and interactions among students of all kinds of different interests really enriches uh, the college experience. And um, I've also have learned over the years that the students who get to know each other in the Honors LLC have really remained friends throughout their time at UNH and even beyond.